Home in Eight, three minutes or seven, less. Six, five, Interesting. You four, see Narsal starting three, off the fight facing two, backwards, one. sending that back fight. armor package robots into fight. Red Hot. Now, both of these robots uh, have very similar geometries. Yeah. And, uh, they are both horizontal spinners. I think they probably both started life out as vector kits, would you say, Kyle? Perhaps? I don't believe that was the case for Narsal, but that definitely was the case for Red Hawk. Yeah. Either way, it's very similar kind of design. Two wheels and a big, big old horizontal spinner. So this one's really going to come down to driving. And uh, picking your moments, are you able to hit your opponent without going weapon on weapon too many times? Wow, look at that back plastic armor on Narsal just ripped to shreds by that sharp weapon on Red Hog. Red Hawk, one of the family teams here. Yep, driven by Josh Belanger uh, from Brookline, New Hampshire. That's right. I would love to someday figure out how to say that last name correctly. Maybe I can chat with Josh at some point. I feel like I say it wrong every single time, Kyle. It's interesting. We were there. We were here for their first competition. Yeah, that's true. And uh, you see that they have successfully peeled off the back armor of Narsal, and that, uh, that back armor is looking sad. Narsal's lost one of its wheels, and Red Hawk is fully operational. Yeah. And Red Hawk is a bot that, you know, when they started, they were a kit bot, um, painted red, uh, they, well driven, but this team has been here at almost every single competition, just grinding away, getting better and better, learning from the other competitors. And you can really see those improvements in their bot every single time. Now you can see as, uh, as Narsal is kind of pirouetting up onto the side, Josh's dad telling Josh, like, hang back, hang back. Like, let's wait for our moment. Like, this is, a, this is a team that comes to every single Norwalk Havoc. They know what they're doing in the box. Yeah. And in the pits. I mean, they took so much damage in their last fight. And this is a beautifully fully functional Red Hawk that we're seeing right now. Arguably more resilient and reliable than the first time we saw it today. Yeah. 40 seconds left here in this match. Oh, big hit on the top of Red Hawk from Narsal. With one wheel down, Narsal is doing everything it can to stay alive. Wow, and you can see all that paint peeled off of the top plate of Red Hawk there. Red Hawk's weapon is down. Narsal, or Red Hawk, trying to get control of Narsal and push that weapon into the wall in the last 10 seconds of this fight. But it looks like the left side of Red Hawk's drive is all the way down. Four, three, two, one. That's the end of this fight. Dri turn off your weapons and drive wow. to the door if you can. See a good shot there of Josh from Red Hawk. And uh, that was a really destructive match. It was. Now, we saw Red Hawk's weapon go down toward the end. Red Hawk had successfully peeled off that back armor plate and knocked out one of the wheels. Yeah. That's damage. Uh, so maybe damage is split. Who had more control? Red Hawk had more control probably for most of that fight. For sure. Um, but uh, yeah, aggression. Aggression goes to Narsal in my, 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 uh, my, my book. Uh, what, what are your thoughts, Kyle? I think you're absolutely right on that. I mean, especially towards the end of that fight, most of the damage was Narsal, and that aggression, you could really attribute mostly to him. It's a tough one. Uh, we're going to have to see what the judges say about that. Looks like we're going to have a Dragon Princess Romham fight coming up in the 30-pound rocks after we go through this judge's decision. That'll be a fun one. Romham is a bot we haven't seen yet today, and I think, uh, I think our audience is going to be very excited for that bot. They do some really good work and some big damage in the pit or in that in that box. Um, but let's go over to the judges now and see what they had to say about that last fight. Yeah, I think if that fight went another 30 seconds, you might have had a different decision there because uh, Red Hawk looked like they were about done. Yeah. And Narsal was still didn't have full mobility, but they had some mobility. Um, so I don't know. It was close. Close. It was very yeah, close. It was really the last section in it for me that Narsil couldn't really bring back the rest of the fight. 
Yeah. Red Hawk just controlled the first lot of the fight, and then once they started to lose power, they kind of just sat there. But at that point, they had done enough to sway the decision. All right. So thank you, judges. Unanimous decision for Red Hawk. Narsal is going home. Uh, Red Hawk moves on in the loser's bracket. This is really their bread and butter. Like, that's what Red Hawk does. They just own that loser's bracket for so much of this tournament. Here we have a nice shot of the pits. The Bots FC boys showing off their jerseys. They've really got that, uh, that soccer boy aesthetic there. Football for our European fans. Hey, everybody in the audience. Got a great shot of hey! the crowd. Hey, how are you guys today? So glad you could join us. Bunch of kids. Uh made their own signs here. I saw a sign that said, uh, we love fire. Was there a fire sign, I think? Yeah, right over I there. I think we're going to see some fire in our next match. There's a good chance for that. There's oh a very my gosh, good chance I see for that. En Fuego over there. En Fuego. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Yeah, we've got Dragon Princess, the fire-breathing robot of Dragon Princess versus Rumham. Oh, tell, tell, tell us a little bit about Rumham, Luke. Rumham is... Uh, driven by 